This is what we've all been waiting for. Diddy Kong! I didn't play enough Diddy Kong last time, but also bagging! I'm staying at this item set. So let's see if I get bad items here. So the first two items should be kind of normal. I expect mushrooms there. Okay, another mushroom. So I heard you can only get mushroom, banana, or green shell in that situation. And okay, what am I talking about? Uh, Nintendo changed the way that stopping at an item set works. So see here, I get completely normal items. But if I stop at an item set, then I'm going to get worse items because they made a balance change, or not necessarily a balance change, just a gameplay change to try and nerf bagging in wave six. Uh, okay, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna slow down even though this makes no sense. This is just to test it out. So I've already gotten two items. This will be four items now. Yeah, okay, so I'm that far away from first place. I should never be getting mushrooms in this spot. And honestly, I think I'm getting very lucky that I'm getting mushrooms instead of bananas or green shells right now. But yeah, I'm so far behind, I'm just gonna try and win. I might test this out more in future races, but for now, give me these coins. Yep, <laughs> I'm just gonna try and win from here, and uh, never mind, I'm gonna lose! So today, we're gonna test if bagging still works. How good is it? Um, and I'm gonna do a lot of races only bagging, which I would never do because bagging is not the superior strategy to front running, but there are situations where you kind of do need to bag in order to try and get your best results. So I'm gonna talk more about all of those today, but for now, let's just try and win. I'm looking at this other Diddy Kong, <laughs> trying to see what item that they have. See if after the golden they have a shock. No, they don't. I'm just gonna take the shortcut. Oh, shock dodge! Yes! <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I shouldn't be getting rid of mushrooms only in, in fourth. I need at least one mushroom for this shortcut. Yo, I'm in third. I'm in second. Oh, Pauline pipe frame in front of me. Full DLC top three, Funky Kong right behind me. Oh, I'm in first. They bumped me into a better line. That was insane. <gasps> Funky Kong has a boomerang. Ah, oh, I didn't get the bridge. This is the problem being in first on this track. Oh, come on, come on. Yes, <laughs> bagging still works. Oh, okay, it's because I'm better than the players in this room. Okay, let me get out of this room and try again. Nintendo, why? Why am I in a room by myself? Oh, hey. All right, see you later. <laughs> okay, it took a while, but I found a high level room. I, uh, I don't know, I want wave six tracks, but at the same time, I want good bagging tracks because this is not a good bagging track. There's one shortcut and it's not even that big, but we're gonna do this again. See if I can get like a banana or a green shell. And honestly, that could help me take the shortcut. No, I'm just getting mushrooms again. Give me all these coins. <laughs> oh, oh wow, I got their coins. Capitalism, baby. <laughs> they lagged onto the wooden board on my screen. So I'm gonna use the mushrooms right now because I need to use all of these items to gain as much time as possible, which typically is not the most strategic way to use your items. You usually wanna stay kind of in the back more until you can find a very good opportunity to make your comeback. And that's what makes bagging skill-based. A lot of people think that bagging is very luck-based because what could you possibly do but just keep using your, your broken items over and over and over uh, until you get back to a top spot? Um, you ever tried that? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work unless you're playing against the bots. And if you, if you judge what your, what, how strategies work in this game based on playing against the bots, then you're just not very good at this game. So bagging is very skill-based because every track works differently. Every track has a different layout of shortcuts and all that. And here's a couple things if you bag. One, if you're on a good bagging track, you don't need a million different items. You don't need to like be pulling stars and stuff in fifth in order to make the comeback. You can pull your amazing items in ninth, get two, get two decent items, even if it's star triple mushroom, that might be enough. And just, you have to make that decision though on what counts as enough, or keep cycling items or, or try to make the comeback. And then choose a good time to make the comeback, right? Um, and it depends on each track where that spot is gonna be, which is why if you try to bag your first time ever against good players, it's just not gonna work. It's horrible. It's a horrible strategy unless you know what you're doing and you're picking the right tracks for it. And also I almost got hit by that boomerang. Here's the other thing. If you bag on any random track, you have to deal with the middle of the pack. You have to be so good at dodging items because you're guaranteed to have to run through them. Oh, did they get stuck on the wall? Okay, I got fourth place. You know what? This is such a good room. I'm gonna stay in this room. And wow, six Peachettes. Let's just all take a deep breath and just accept that the winning streak on DK Mountain of one so far <laughs> is going to be over because 
I'm sure this is not a bagging track. I've never tested it, but there's just no way. There's no way this is a bagging track. There's nothing you can really do with mushrooms on this track. Or like, I guess I can dodge a shock, I can use a bullet. Those are great on every track, obviously, but you can't guarantee those, right? The ability to have that happen is very luck-based. Is bagging luck-based? Um, it can be. If you choose to bag on Daisy Circuit like I just did, then I was continuing to pull good items up to top spots, and that was very lucky. That's the only reason why I got a good position. If I was pulling green shells and bananas in that spot, mm -mm, no way. <laughs> but um, that's only if you chose the incorrect strategy the way I did there. If you choose to front run on Cheeseland, you are also playing a luck-based game. If there's two shocks and two blue shells, you're getting last. If there's none of that, you can probably still get top five. That's completely out of your control, right? That's that's also luck-based. So it's choosing the wrong strategy that puts you in luck-based situations. It's not that bagging or front-running are either inherently luck-based. Both of them, you can outplay people, and both of them have a luck element to them because it is Mario Kart. Obviously, both of them have luck, but you can outplay people, and if you're better than them, you will consistently beat them. Ooh, I got heated there. <laughs> All right, back to the race. I'm still in a bad spot, but I've kind of dodged the shock, which did improve my chances. Oh, and there's a blue shell? Yep. I like it because I just want first place. I don't care about just getting a good spot. I want first place. So I can't use this yet because I need to make sure it takes me off the shortcut. I think we just use it now. I don't know the best bullet spots on all the tracks yet. That's something I'll have to learn. But I'm already in fourth. Wow, and it's not stopping. Nice. I'm going to use this after the... Nope, I'm going to use it now. <laughs> okay, I don't think it does anything in the cannon. Oh, again! Okay, but I'm going to spend some time being small here. This is not great. I'm go going more to the left. Get me some coins. I don't want to get squished. If someone's right behind you when you get shocked, you really want to make sure you don't get squished. Okay, that was bad. Hot pop, mushroom. Uh, let's use this. I want to get rid of this. Yep, speed me up. Get rid of the person that threw the fire at me. Oh, this double item box way out of the way. Ugh, that's annoying. People are actually not taking the shortcut. Come on. Fourth place, that's really good. Oh, for a track that has like no mushroom shortcuts, that was great. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to a better character for bagging. So, like, what's the deal? Is Pichette gonna be the new most popular character? Because even though there were so many characters with equivalent stats to Yoshi, everyone still kept picking Yoshi. So, like, is Pichette gonna change that, or, 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 or what? Or are we still gonna see Yoshi all the time after the DLC hype is over? Oh, that draft slowed me down. Oh, I'm so scared of getting bumped off. There's, there's so many people here. Let's get to the front here. Ooh, I need to practice that! I'm bagging! I totally forgot that's what I was doing! I'm going backwards! It's gonna give me bad items! No, it didn't. But we're gonna chain here. I'm, I'm just gonna pretend like it's old bagging and not apply any new strategies and just get a green shell. <laughs> no! I drifted off and it didn't give me the item. Okay, at least I still have a star. This is, this is good, but I'm so far in the back. I do have very high anti-gravity speed, and of course Funky Kong is the fastest character in the game, just like he was in Mario Kart Wii. Never forget. Okay, here we go, here we go. Stay invincible as long as I can. I don't know the good bullet spots on this track. Wait, wait, no, I think I know this one. Oh no, I just have to use it. Uh, I think the best bullet spot is like right over here. Here, it, it goes into a bullet extension. But yeah, right now I think I just got a very normal bullet. That star, they could use it any second. Okay, well, I, guess, I guess we'll take this shortcut. I don't know if this is worth it. I don't know if it's worth using a mushroom there. Oh! Okay, shock hasn't happened yet. There's a very good chance. I got a single mushroom. No! I feel shock. <laughs> I don't know why I feel that. Okay, I'll just use it. It does the extension. Yes! 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 I'm getting third. What? I didn't get the extension because I passed a million people all at once. Okay, look, Nintendo definitely nerfed my items this race, but bagging still works. It's still good, okay? 
<laughs> I just, I got a million invincibility items, and like, we, we, we can't forget that when you do get good items, the items are really, really good in this game. So I made a short on bagging when uh, it first got nerfed, and a lot of people were asking me about why I like this change, because <laughs> a lot of people know me as like, the bagging guy. You know, like, I enjoy bagging. And that doesn't mean that I want bagging to be as good as, good as it is, though, because there's a few reasons. I care about the health of this game, as well as um, the public perception of this game, because I think it really sucks when people- oh, I got these in last place. I think it really sucks when people uh, watch other people do bagging, and then just complain about it when they don't really understand it. Because, like, on one hand, yeah, some people just enjoy bagging and that's it, and they just want to bag all the time. Almost nobody's like that. Most people, their relationship with bagging is is that it's just a necessary strategy you have to do sometimes. Okay, I'm getting item lag. <laughs> Can't even get my item. Uh, but yeah, if you if you just watch a racing game and everyone's not moving, everyone's just, you know, going for the same item box, obviously that doesn't look good. People don't like to see that. Nobody likes to see that. I don't like to see that. I don't like to be in that. Everyone hates that. We can all agree, right? We can all agree on that. But that's not the entire story for bagging. Bagging has other stuff too. There's the part where you make the comeback. It's so hype. Everyone loves it. You know, we've seen item smuggling. That's just bagging with something else involved as well. Everyone loves it. It gets so many views. My videos with bagging always get the most views. So what's the deal with that? People genuinely love bagging. The general public genuinely mostly loves bagging. It's just that they don't like uh, the part where you stop moving. And you can bag without stopping moving. It's not always the most effective thing to do, but you can do it. And that, I think that's what Nintendo is trying to do with this chain. Is that uh, if people are going to bag anyway, and it's still going to be good, and they're not going to, they're choosing not to change that, at least they're going to stop people from just completely standing still at the item set. We just got a super front running track, and let me show you guys how bagging is supposed to go. I will admit, I may have, I may have played a part in some misinformation about bagging. Now, I never lied about bagging, I never purposely put out misinformation, but I think the way that I portrayed things made people think a certain thing about bagging. And people think that bagging is a strategy that you just choose from the start. And, I mean, yeah, on, on like Cheese Line, Dry Dry Desert, sure. Of course. <laughs> the bagging is actually better on those tracks, and it's stupid. I agree, it's stupid. Bagging shouldn't really be better on any track, I don't think. If I was designing the game, I wouldn't make it that way. But, the thing is, Usually when you bag, you're not... That's not what you're doing. You're not choosing to bag right from the start. Usually you're bagging because you got hit or something, and being in the middle of the pack is just atrocious. I was trying to prove my point this race by getting hit at some point, but I just never did. So I guess I'm just front-running this race for one race. I would never bag on this track. It makes no sense. <laughs> I'm probably getting like 10th at best if I tried bagging on this track, and now I could win. See, my, my, my results... I'll be honest, we're pretty consistent, and that's pretty good. But I was not winning, except on race one, where I... Oh, <laughs> nice banana snipe attempt. On race one, I was in a room where people were a lot worse than me, compared to uh, the, the room I'm currently in. So, obviously, I can win that race, <laughs> even though I played it so stupidly. But now, that's not going to happen, probably, because, because these players are way better. Okay, well, they're probably throwing this because they have multiple red shells. Oh. Blue shell coming. It's not going to be early enough. Also, do I have no more boomerang throws? Ooh. I don't remember using it once. But yeah, anyway, front running is better than bagging. On most tracks, not every track. You're going to find tracks where bagging is better, which is why, regardless of the nerf, you still need to know how to bag if you want to be the best player you can be. So, I'm sorry I played a race by front running, so I'm just going to wait a long time at the start here, uh, but I think I did prove a point that race. The point I wanted to prove was that you're supposed to front run until you get hit, and then at that point, decide if bagging would be a good strategy. Maybe not, maybe you should keep going forward, but it really depends on like what items are near you, uh, what spot you're in, how many coins you have, like just, just what are your chances of making it back to the front where it's safer from all of the spam items. Uh, but, oh. But instead, what I ended up proving is that 
all it took for, for me for, for me to win in this in this stacked room was to front run on one race. If that doesn't show you that front running is better than bagging, I don't know what will. Okay, and I mean 3DS Rainbow Road super front running track, so it, that there is a bias there. But the thing is, a lot of times people see how good bagging is, and um, they see it on a bagging track like Cheeseland because that's where it's most entertaining to watch that because of how effective it is and how simple it looks. Because yeah, it is quite simple, um, <laughs> relatively speaking, to bag on Cheeseland because it's just so effective. So like, you don't have to make any really really difficult uh, decisions. It's just, it's just like pretty straightforward. I mean, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's like a lot easier than it is to effectively bag on some other tracks. And I got screwed by that blue shell in my last video, so I'm not dealing with that. I went so far to the side. All right, we're in a good spot right now. I want to save these for the end of lap three. I don't know if I'll be able to, but it's not that likely people pull red shells behind me. So as long as I stay vigilant and dodge items behind me, the person behind me has a mushroom, so I'm probably fine, but I'm holding these. Yep, I'm making up spots just because everyone else is getting hit. Okay, I'm... Uh, slow down a little bit. Oh, no. Okay, one mushroom to speed up. One mushroom free shortcut. Let's do this. Oh, another mushroom. Yeah, we got second! I think a lot of people would have just used up all their mushrooms there. But if you know where all the shortcuts are located and the power of each of them, you can make a decision about whether it's worth it to save your items. Okay, I realize I mentioned this earlier, I forgot to finish that thought. Um, I wanted to talk about why people bag in general. It's not because we're all degenerate sweaty gamers. Um, part of why is because of just the, the entire way that this game is designed. Also, item lag. I couldn't get my item there, uh, so I had to wait a long time. This is a super front running track. I'm not going to do well here probably, but we'll see. Uh, so part of why bagging is good is because like you wouldn't necessarily choose it right from the start of the race But at some point you'd be like, all right, I just got destroyed I'm in like fourth place fifth place eighth place whatever I'm gonna start bagging because why am I going forward if I'm probably just gonna get hit again because what items are around that spot? All the attack items and it's so annoying and it's impossible to deal with like no amount of item dodging skill is gonna let you dodge everyone's attack items in that spot every single time and every time you get hit, you just lose more and more coins. And the more coins you lose, the harder it becomes to make the comeback. So why are you even in that spot? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to lose? You know what bagging is supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean when you're not trying your best. So, like, I mean, we, we, we use it in a fun way to say, like, oh, I'm just staying in the back, so I'm, like, temporarily bagging. But if you want to permanently bag, you should, you should never drop to the back. That's what it means to permanently bag. Oh, okay, okay. Right here is nice. The glider. I have some glider time here. Oh, bullets. Okay, I'm getting pretty lucky here. You do need a lot of luck if you want to successfully bag on a front running track. Okay, we're going to use this through the shortcut. I, I honestly don't know where's the best spot to use a bullet here. All right, gained me a lot of positions, but there's a cannon glider coming up, and it just ended anyway, so we're fine. <laughs> um... Uh, I, want, I want to get ahead here. Oh, good decision. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do this. I don't need the double item. It's not going to help me that much. Trail, trail, trail you! No! Oh my, I just got destroyed. No, nah, I still got fourth. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Oh, another Pauline teddy buggy and a King Boo behind me. Uh, this is low-key a bagging track. Um, Baby Park... The interesting thing about Baby Park is just how many items you can get. And I didn't realize that way back when I tried doing a, a video full of bagging. I thought Baby Park would be a bad bagging track because uh, you can't get all the best items until 30 seconds, and so you spend less time having all of the good items available to you on Baby Park. But you get so many items. It's ridiculous how many items you can get on this track. Look, I, I, you, you, get, you get like two items twice a lap if you do it properly. Oh no! Should have activated the boo earlier. Okay, stole triple mushrooms, that's nice. Shock dodge with the boo, nice. Thanks to activating it a bit later. Oh, I'm in fourth place, I'm not gonna get as good items now, but the race is almost over. Don't come for me. It didn't come for me! Let's go. We're just front running baby park now. 
<laughs> this is awesome. Love bagging on this track now. This is kind of just the way I play it now. No matter what tracks are available, someone always finds a way to pick Excite Bike Arena. I don't know the front running lines on this track yet. So let's see, here's what we're gonna try to do. Find the coins. Okay, well those are like in the water stream. Use this coin. Okay, and then we just wait. <laughs> we're just gonna wait right here. <laughs> Even though it's not an item set. Um, Cause I have to bag and like that's the whole point here. Let's, let's do this. Oh, nice shortcut. Didn't need a bag to do that shortcut. Whoa, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'm bagging, I'm bagging. Everything's gonna be okay. Is what I would think on most tracks that I'm good at, but I'm not good at this track. So I don't even know where the next item set is or even where we're going next. This is a big problem right now. Oh, I didn't even go for the coins. Okay, we're gonna get rid of all these. Okay, and we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna fly through the air. Oh, I'm so high up right now, thanks to the mushroom and get my speed back. Okay, well, I mean, you can do that shroomless, so I don't make up a lot of time doing that. Okay, I need to find out, I think lap three is where most of the off-road shortcuts are, so that's where my bagging is really gonna come in handy. Okay, got a coin out of that, nice. Couldn't get a trick. Oh, I'm too far ahead for good items at this point. <laughs> I'm getting triple greens. Okay, this is nice, this is nice. Protection before I activate these mushrooms. I think right here. Yeah, like that. Can we stay up? Oh no, I went all the way over here. Okay, that's not good. Sorry. <laughs> okay, but we're almost on lap three. I, I I don't know, it's a really long track. Okay, there's a shortcut right here that I didn't know about. Okay, lap three. I need to have mushrooms on lap three. There's a shortcut right there. I'm so bad, at, I, I feel so bad. All you Piranha Plant Cove enjoyers, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to play this track. This shortcut right here, let's do it. <laughs> oh, it's the only Wave 6 track so far that I actually have no idea how to play. I mean, I have some idea, but they're all ideas. They're not execution. Get rid of that banana. Shortcut, where's the shortcut? I might have missed it already, I don't know. Oh, that trick was bad. Super Horn. Oh, I barely was out of range. Nice, nice, nice. No. Okay, nice. Wow, I actually got second place. So yeah, part of why bagging is not actually that luck-based is because you can just keep cycling items until you get the ones you want to make the comeback. It's not about how many bullets can you get, how many mushrooms can you get, how many stars can you get, and therefore you can't just like say, oh, I got this many stars, this many bullets, th this many golden mushrooms, therefore I saved this much time, therefore I made the comeback or didn't make the comeback. It's not that simple. You, th th There are, are different ways you can use each of these items in order to produce a bigger or smaller comeback, which is why, um, like, so someone who is not very good at bagging would get the same items as me, oops, <laughs> and uh, not be able to make nearly as big of a comeback because they're not experienced with what to do with those items, like the timing and uh, exactly, exactly which spots to use them. So I think... Uh, on some tracks, like right now we're on quite the bagging track, right? These shortcuts are gigantic. On most tracks, I think uh, Rookie put it best. He said that bagging should be a plan B. He made a whole video about bagging, which you can check out if you want. Okay, I shouldn't be going back for mushrooms. That's me on autopilot. Um, and he said that on most tracks, bagging should, should be a plan B. I've said before that I treat bagging and front running like neither strategy is better than the other. Uh, even though front running is better, but you shouldn't think about it that way. You should think about it like it's a hybrid. You should play both, just depending on the situation you're in. The situation being either which track you're on or uh, what spot you're on on a certain track. So even on a front running track, sometimes the best decision is to just start bagging in the middle of the race because you got destroyed. And uh, being in the middle of the pack is kind of pointless. Oh no, I messed that up. Oh, I'm so close. We're playing the same combo. <laughs> I've joined the Peachette hive mind. It's no longer a Yoshi hive mind. It's a Peachette hive mind. Peachette top five. Let's go. Okay, I already bagged on DK Mountain. I'm thinking I just front run this, right? Because it's not a full uh, talk about bagging unless I can properly compare it to front running, you know? And I have compared it on different tracks. We did get a lot of front running tracks today, which is part of why my results are not as good as I would have hoped for full bagging. 
I really do want to see some really bagging tracks as well, though, because we, we pretty much have not gotten those today. It's been, like, tracks that you can bag, but never really, like, full bagging tracks like Cheeseland, Dry Dry Desert, SNES Mario Circuit 3. Oh, wow. That was crazy how many people that hit. I guess I'm bagging, huh? I can't escape my fate. You know what? Let's just bag. Screw it. <laughs> that was horrible. I hardly got any coins out of that. Um, and I'm not going to stop at this item set because Nintendo nerfed it. And that's the only reason. Just kidding. It would be a bad idea at this point in the race. Oh, a bullet. How long can I save this? Should I even save this for long? It, I, it depends what the Yoshi behind me has. Golden. Okay. They may or may not have the shock. I'm just going to keep watching them. I can't see them. Oh, they're up top. They don't have the shock. They have the bullet. So I'll, I'll, I'll just save this. Hopefully don't don't get the shock out of me. But there's a low chance because I don't see anyone with the shock here. Okay, got to focus on this shortcut. How to do it properly. I, I don't know. That bullet took a huge turn. I feel like maybe I should have used it a bit later. What? I guess I'm using this. Dropped me off in the off-road. That was annoying. So yeah, this just became bagging anyway. <laughs> no difference. Uh, I tried to avoid my face, but it just happened. See, because the thing is, a lot of the time when you're front-running, locking yourself into front-running is just being bad at this game. Like, if it, switching to bagging is totally fine, usually. Okay, I'm going to use this now. I want to make sure I'm safe for the shortcut. Yes! I knew people would shock right at that shortcut. No, I suck! Come on, please still win. Please still win. This person's small. I have triple reds. Good luck. I'm not going to be mean, though. <laughs> yes! That was amazing. Predicted the shock perfectly. Bagging is all skill, and I'm never front-running ever again.